हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर संजय पुरोहित आई वु लाइक टू एक्सटेंड ए वार्म वेलकम टू यू ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई वु लाइक टू थैंक्स एवरी वन हू हैज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड एनक्रेज यू टू डू सो इफ यू हैव नोट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब इट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट सो डेट यू विल गेट ए न्यू वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन अलियस फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इनेट्स ऑफ हल स्टेट इनेट्स ऑफ हल स्टेट ऑल्सो नोन एज हल स्टेट प्रिंसिपल्स दीज आर दी बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ फिजिकल टेक्निक रिगार्डिंग टिश्यू हैंडलिंग these key points were introduced in late 19 centuries by william stewart halsted co-founder of john hopkins hospital amazingly we can remember them thanks to the acronyms that spell his name halsted first principle handle tissue gently second principle arrest all bleedings third principle give blood supply intact fourth principle stick asepsis principal tension minimized on tissues sixth principal as together nicely means accurate tissue deposition seventh principal dead space minimized means obliteration of dead space so friends on the basis of the acronyms all said we can easily remember these principles these principles are just relevant today as were in 19th century in all type of surgeries William Halsted was particularly influential because of the surgical principles they bear his name these are the basic principles so don't violate them let us review Halsted seven principles of surgical bleeds so the friends first principle is handle tissue gently avoid unnecessary manipulation or crushing of the tissues during the surgery handle tissue gently minimize trauma appropriate use of instruments on the basis of this we can promote optimal healing minimize swelling minimize inflammation minimize post surgical pain and reduce all the complications tissue dissection during the surgery should be in the facial planes exposed tissue could be protected from drying or contamination to ensure gentle tissue handling develop and practice is important develop and practice your surgical technique on inanimate models or 
cadavers before proceeding to live patients. Second principle of heart state is arrest all bleeding. Friends, controlling bleeding during the surgery is very essential. The bleeding can be controlled by clamping the blood vessels, pressure on the blood vessels, using the electrocautery. We can ligate the blood vessels. We can use some hemostatic agents. Avoid damage to the major blood vessel. These are the means by which by which we can arrest all bleeding. Friends, leptocoagulations are useful for minor hemorrhage, while the large vessels could be ligated. Third principle of heart state is new blood supply intact. Preservation of blood supply through the correct use of the clamps and careful dissection. Many blood vessels, including the large ones, can be sacrificed. We should strive to preserve them when possible as they will help in healing. Friends, in fracture repair, muscles should be elevated from the bone fragments only. If necessary, so to avoid the delayed healing or creating a sequester. Fourth principle of heart state stick SFPs. Friends, maintaining a sterile environment and Preventing the infection is crucial in surgery. Hygiene of team of surgery, that is, preparation of the surgeon using the sterile gloves and gowns, proper utilization of the instruments, preparation of the patients by the proper shaving, scrubbing, antisepsis, and use of the style dress. Location for conducting of the surgery. We should maintain strict aseptic condition during the surgery. Fifth principle, tension minimized on the tissues. Friends, applying tissue is an art form. The sutures cannot be too tight. If too tight, they crush the tissues and blood flow is restricted, which may result in necrosis and cause post operative swelling. At the same time, they cannot be too loose, which could Cause decays or dehiscence. Tissues are replaced to their normal anatomic position with minimum tension by the suture to prevent tissue devitalization. Type of the suture material, materials and pattern to be used will be detected by the tissues involved and force applied to those tissues. Six principle, as together nicely, accurate tissue a position. Bringing the edge of tissues together neatly by pushing or stapling to Enhance wound healing, minimize scarring, and promote 
rapid return to normal function. This is achieved by correct selection of the suture materials, suture patterns, and correct placement of the sutures. Seventh principle of Hall said: dead space minimized means obliteration of dead space. Dead space is the space remaining in the tissues due to failure to properly close each layers. Friends, as tissue are returned to the to their normal position, dead space need to be obliterated by careful sutureing. The different layers of the muscles to oppose the tissue or placement of the drain to prevent the fluid accumulation, thereby speeding up the healing. After excision of the large tumor, eliminate dead space to decrease the risk of seroma or hematoma formation. If needed, a tissue or a active drain. Should be used if bleeding or drainage is anticipated. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please watch this video again and again. If further you have any doubt, please write me in comment box. I will reply. Now you are requested to like, comments, share, and subscribe my channel. Future best. Thanks again.